Today we got the first on this channel some viewer mail. A user named Terez or Terez wants to know about this SCP-25 which we featured a long while back. I'll put a, a link back to the original video but he wants to look inside and take a look at the belt path. So we're going to do that real quick. Let's talk about taking this thing apart. First you've got the lid, the simulated walnut grain finish which this has eight screws you just take that lid off. Then you get into this thing and you need to separate this this sort of L-shaped back piece here from the front. So you got to take off probably about eight more screws on the bottom. Oh look, this used to be, this was at some point $4.95 in somebody's garage sale. But anyway, so you got one, two, three, four screws on the bottom here. You got one on the back that's, uh, there's three, there's those, those four screws there. And then there's three related to the circuit board. So there's the one on the output jacks. There's a bracket on the bottom. And there's, uh, not that one, there's one that holds the board on the corner of the board. So one, two, three for the board. And then one, two, three, four in the bottom. Once you do that, like this all will, will separate. You know, this piece goes on here. So the motor is right here. So the uh, belt goes around there, around the motor, around this, and it just sort of touches the side of this. So... I think what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to completely encircle this pulley or basically only touches the sort of top and side of this pulley. However, I had to cheat. So I've got this belt. This is not the right belt, but it does work. So let's talk about why it works. The picture of the cassette on the other side, right? This thing needs to be either pulling it that way or that way. So these things are going on opposite directions. So if we pretend there's a motor here, notice if I turn it, like the motor's where my finger is, notice they turn in op opposite directions. So you picture the roller being up against the metal bar on the other side of that thing. It's going to be, hang on, doing that way. Yeah. So if it's, if this is going that way, do, do, do. No, that's maybe this way. Yeah. If this is going that way, then it's going to be turning up against that roller. But basically, you just need to get these things going in opposite directions. Okay, so right now I've got the screwdriver basically where the motor needs to go. It needs to go through this belt and then through the little one on the bottom. So this is going to be kind of tricky. So I'm going to kind of pull up on the screwdriver a little bit and then grab the motor. So grab that with my left hand. Then I'm going to try to take this motor pulley and kind of insert it in there and then work its way in so that I don't lose tension on the belt. I, I'm, you can't see on the camera, but I'm kind of looking at where the motor's going, raising up on the screwdriver, kind of pulling the belts up, so they'll sort of snap onto the motor, and then sliding the motor over and over and over and over and over and over, and make sure I keep tension on that, get the screwdriver out of there, and boom, at this point now I've got the tension on the motor, now I just sort of need to work everything into place. So I had to use use these little things to get in there and move the belt. So at this point I've got the belts on the right thing. I don't know if I can see that on the camera, but the flat belt is on the first part of the pulley. The square belt is on the second and I'm just going to bolt this down with some screws and see if it works. So let's just plug it in just to see how it's going to work. So yeah, there it's going. So as you can see, it's working fine. That pulley is not even being used. Now, is this the ideal solution? No. But it does work. It does get the thing running. So, anyway, let's go ahead and put it back together completely. So that's a little bit more detail on how I got this deck running. I'll put a link in the description to our original video from three years ago. Uh, that video has a lot more information on these playback only decks from Radio Shack. And I know a lot of people would not be satisfied by my little belt hack here, not using the correct belt, and that's okay. You could spend a lot of time and money uh, on the very specialized belt that this thing needs, but for me, it's a matter of it not really being worth the investment. I mean, this deck looks cool. Looks like it would be, you know, really cool for basic use. It has a small form factor, but it lacks a lot of uh, features compared to other decks. And I'm just having fun here. Obviously, it's a hobby. I'm not a professional repairman, but I did give this thing a chance. Uh, somebody could power it up and play a tape. Uh, 
Uh, otherwise, it would probably never work again and end up in the garbage. Anyway, that's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please be sure to uh, like, subscribe, comment, whatever, all that usual YouTube stuff. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.